Hello everyone, welcome back to our weekly NeoVim plugin videos. Um, I'm trying out a new recording software this time around. I ditched Loom because they wanted $12 a month and they upload all of my snapshots and my videos to the cloud or to their little website, which I, I just really don't like. Anyway, so I'm trying out Snagit. I spent a good amount of money buying the Snagit license, so I'm kind of locked in now. Uh, hopefully it works out. Anyway, onwards to our NeoGit, um, NeoVim plugin. Uh, we're, we are covering NeoGit this week, which is a plugin to help you manage your Git operations on a project. I really like it. I love the way it shows you the commit history, the recent commits, and what's changed. I, I love the structure of being able to use Vim bindings to navigate that little uh, vi or Git world. So uh, let's hop right into it. We're gonna first talk about how to install it. Um, some, some, you know, basic, very basic configurations. We're not gonna get into too much detail with the configurations. Some hotkeys that I've configured, and as well as some operations, how to do operations, get operations with NeoGit. So let's start off with um, installing it. So you can install it from the NeoGit org, NeoGit organization. I like to use Packer as my uh, package manager. So in my case, I go into my plugins.lua file and I put this line in here, use the name of the repository, the branch, and the dependencies. Okay, don't take these values at face value because these are these are different values than what you're going to use just follow the installation guide on the documentation I'm, I'm testing out a feature right now and this is this is why mine is different all right once you have that in, in there go into your init.lua file and you can configure neogit like so setup and in my case i have this recent commit include author info flag in the status table that just is telling me that, hey, when I'm viewing recent commits, also show me the author of that commit. And that's a new feature that's not out in the master branch yet. That's, that's in, in somebody else's branch, and I'm helping them test it. But hopefully it will make it into master soon. All right, so once you have that, do the good old Packer install. And that'll install the plugin. And let's give it a whirl. Let's uh, move over here to another one of my uh, directories. Um, yes, my projects here. This is a project that I have to manage my dot files. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maximize that window. And my keys, my key bindings are set to leader G to open up NeoGit. So that essentially just runs this command over here called NeoGit kind vSplit. Um, NeoVim kind vSplit. So that's like, I've never tried this feature before, this here, that NeoGit kind vSplit. Okay, so um, yeah, that's what you're seeing over here on the right. Let me move this window over. And you can see here all of the recent commits, which is really cool, and you can unfold that, unfold that using tab, and all of the modified files. All right, so if I modify my init.lua file, and I got rid of this comment here. Uh, you can see that NeoGit reflects those changes and it tells you, hey, you modified init.lua. I can press tab to unfold that and it tells you, oh, hey, you removed these lines. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I did. I did remove those lines. So I can stage that change by pressing S on init.lua. And now you can see it's staged. And if I want to commit that change, just press C. That'll open up a little dialog and okay. This is where NeoGit could be a little better. It doesn't actually take you straight to the to writing a commit message. What it's asking you here, it's asking you, hey, do you actually want to commit? Press C again. Or do you want to reword? Or do you want to amend a commit? Do you want to extend a commit? You know, squash your commit? So you have all these options here. Once you press C, it'll open up this window um, showing you the options. And you have all these options you can choose from. So I, I do want to commit. So I just press C again. And then it'll take you to where you can write the commit message. In my case, it's just, you know, cleaning up some comments. And then you save that. And there you go. It's committed. You can see here in recent commits, if you unfold that, 
What's going on? Hmm. My tab key isn't working on recent commits. What's going on? Well, I don't know what's going on there, but anyway, it would be there in recent commits. Um, typically, usually. So if I wanted to push my changes now, what would I do? Shift P to push. And it'll open up the little dialog box again. Um, press P and you can see it's pushing, it's pushed. Oh, now recent commits is working. Great. So cleaning up some commits, comments, you can see that my commit is in there now. Okay, so that's how you commit and that's how you push. Um, you can also do things like pull, revert. Uh, next week we'll take a look at a really another really cool plugin called diff view, which is a way to manage um, the differences between commits in NeoVim. Uh, just a little primer on that. If I quit this and if I do my leader key diff view DF to view changes on this file, you can see here that div view plugin opens up and it shows you the changes between your current revision and you know a, rev a revision ago, two revisions ago, and so forth. So it's really cool. You can go back to a certain revision on that specific file if you'd like. We'll cover that next week. And with that, we'll go ahead and end this weekly NeoVim plugin video. Thank you very much, folks.